both faces. We're going to talk about that Tory Lane and Megan Stallion situation. He's going to do 10 years. You know, he's going to do 10 years. Yeah, he's found guilty of shooting at Megan Stallion. Now, listen, there are some people out there that still believe to, to this day, they're Trumpster, that he didn't do nothing wrong. Like, oh, his gun actually went off or someone else was in the car and shot her. This is a bunch of nonsense. She told you firsthand what happened. She was on CBS. She came out with a social video. She told the whole story, you know, and the problem was she probably wouldn't have said nothing, but the clown, the idiot, by the way, Tori Lane, just in case you don't know, he's a famous R&B artist. He's been around for a very long time, since the teens. He put out a lot of hit music. You can check that out and Google that. But the point was that he felt like, yo, it wasn't me. It wasn't me, you know, like that rap, like that reggae song. It wasn't me, you know. But the thing is this. At the end of the day, I'm more upset about all the people that were saying that she was just lying. And now he is found guilty. What are you going to say to her now? I think you need to apologize to her. Because keep in mind, don't be a a Trumpster and be like, oh, he's innocent. He's innocent no matter what. But my whole thing with this is that it seems like the music community, they always want to back up their artists. They always want to keep things under the cover, like the Blue Shield. You know, like, if you know what I'm talking about when I say Blue Shield, it's like the music industry do the exact same thing. They want everybody to be in this, this aurora, like, oh, everything is great here. This is where the money's at, blah, blah, blah. But they don't want to tell the other things that's going on in the music industry about the abuse that hurt, uh, occur, about the sexual uh, attacks on, on women, about the sexual abuse on kids that come into the industry. And I'm pretty sure you heard with P. Diddy, you know, all the, the sexual allegations he, you know, that they said about him. That's nothing new about his Leave gayism, his 50 50 side. Never you know, going how he basically manipulated little kids. I mean, these are allegations that's been said about him. But my point to this whole thing at the end of the day, I'm glad that Megan Stalin, she got some relief. She's got the truth out. You know what I'm saying? She got to say what she wants. At the end of the day, Tory Lane, go do your time. Do your time well. Serve it up, turn around, and serve it up again. Until next time.